Hi everyone, welcome back to the House of Joseph. If you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So without any further waffle, drivel or whatever it is I'm prone to do on YouTube, should we dive straight in? Let's do it. So today, guys, I thought that we'd have a close look at this, which is the uh, the collection highlight stick. This is a pearlescent highlight stick. There's no glitter. It's not a glittery highlight stick at all. So the, my change color face, face change color then, sort of, sort of a greeny sort of color. Looks a little bit like the Incredible Hulk. And I'll be showing you two ways how to apply something like a highlight, a pearlescent, do make sure it's a pearlescent highlighter stick to your face, ways you may not have even thought of using highlighter. Um, and one of them is is, is an under eye um, treatment, well, not a treatment, but a concealer, a makeup chip, basically. The other one's a new, a new way to wear contour. So if that sounds like something you're interested, please keep watching. Can't say any more than that, can I? If you don't really want to watch, then don't. I'd like to think you would keep watching though. So my first technique is going to be using the highlighter. And this is basically a dupe of the, um, what's the name? Fenty Beauty uh, highlighter stick. And I've got a contour stick and a blush stick as well. Although to hand, I've only got my contour stick and my highlight stick. The blush stick is somewhere in the building. Don't really know where, but don't need it for today's tutorial anyway. So I can't sling it over there because I have it in my hand, but right. it will probably be easier if I explain as I'm applying the, the products to my face, um, why I'm doing it this way, as opposed to me just sat here waffling and then doing a demonstration. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just screw him up. So you've got a, about uh, two centimetres, no good at that sort of thing. I'm just going to apply some into under my eye like that and a little bit there. So wherever you would apply concealer, under eye concealer, apply the highlighter. Let's do the same on this side. Sorry, because it's pretty bright in here. Hence the shadows. And if if you are like millions and millions and millions of people who watch YouTube, like to go all the way under, really, really like the big fans of the panda look, then do bring it all the way under your eye, which I'll do on this eye. And it does feel really creamy, which is going to leave a, or yeah, no, leave a lovely base for the um, the concealer, which we're going with next. Just put a little bit more in there. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of concealers um, have a very, very matte sort of finish to them because they're much more dense or much denser than uh, foundations and so on. So you, you need something which is going to add a, a, a different glowing dimension to the concealer. Hence, that's why I've just put it on there. And it probably looks ridiculous at the minute. It's that strobing sort of look, isn't it? But once I've added a tiny amount of concealer, then you will see that the results do look amazing. This is a sleek concealer. This is, the, these come in co, co, uh, tone, what's the word? Co, 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 tone categorized. So shall I start that again? I'll have to, won't I? Right. This is a sleek concealer. Can you see him? And these come at uh, tone categorized in shades, um, cool, med, um, cool, neutral and uh, warm. <laughs> do try and get it right. And um, and then within each category of uh, shade of tone it, it is the shade. So you've got light, medium and dark. In fact, they call it C1, C2 and C3. C1 being the lightest, C3 being the darkest. So this is C1, a cool toned concealer. And do make sure it matches the, um, the, the tone of your choppies. So and what I do with concealers is put a blob there and a blob in the very, very inner corners of my eye, basically wherever I have darkness or blueness, really. Although I did put a great big lump of um, highlighter under my eye. So just to show you how, how wonderful this technique is and go back in with it. Don't pump your concealers like that because all you're doing is, is introducing air and germs into the equation or les équations. Yeah, I just went French. And then all you need to do, go. Oh, it's all going mayhem over here. With a concealer brush, this is just a concealer brush. Don't know where it's from. Just blend them, blend those two together. And by adding that level of um, glowing dimension to the concealer, we'll instantly lighten up the under eye area and bring it all away to wherever you've put the highlighter, you know, and you've applied your concealer on top. And this will just create the most beautiful light lit up area, I suppose. It just looks a bit pandery at the moment, doesn't it? It's all going horribly wrong, guys. It's not really. 
what I'm trying to do is to get away from that awful um, TikTok sort of look. Do you, do you know what I mean? Where people just have the most horrendous um, white stripes all over their face. And um, I think that just looks ridiculous. So what I'm trying to do is trying to think of techniques that aren't really known in the makeup world. But And so by going in with a highlight, the creamy highlighter first, and do make sure it's creamy stick uh, or uh, one that comes in a compact, but make sure it's a cream highlighter, pearlescent. Again, how many times will I say that today? It's important you do get a pearlescent one because if you go in with a, a, a glittery one, it just won't have the same effect. Um but yeah, by laying that down first, you, you, you're eradicating the need for um, eye primers, and um, and and also, well, basically, I mean, you know, look, this is brilliant, isn't it? Can you see how glowing that is now? It's not glowing as such; it's just brought my entire eye eye area to life. This side, not so much, because I've I've done what I, I see on YouTube every single day, hundreds of times a day. People just going in with whopping great lays. They put a line here. Uh, even the most seasoned makeup artists do it. I'm trying to get us all away from that by um, by incorporating just a tiny bit of highlight. Well, I did put quite a bit on, I suppose. But um, do, you can see what I'm getting at, though, can't you, beautiful ones? Skin's looking. Okay, in the minute, is it? I don't really know. Beautiful ones. I've lost my sub objectivity when it comes to my old chops. So what I'm going to do is just blend that in just a little bit more. And obviously, I'm taking ages over this, but the more you do this, the same with all of my techniques. The, the more you do this, the quicker you'll get at it. So it would just be a case of in the morning, you get up, have your cup of coffee or your cup of coffee, as some of the American people say. Um, go in with a line of um, highlighter, follow very quickly with your concealer just blend and out the door couldn't be simpler and that will give you that fresh wide awake sort of look um and it won't be flat as well and because we've laid down the the um the highlighter first and it's a silicone based highlighter the concealer silicone based as well do try and get them in the same category or the same family of um compositions um totally forgot what i was talking about totally gone it will come back momentarily I hope it, it did come back in the end, beautiful ones. And I was saying was to know that because we went in with the um, the highlight, the creamy highlighter first, uh, it, it it's given my my under eye area loads of slip, so that the concealer won't gather. It certainly won't um, pull into fine lines. And so beautiful ones. That's an, one of them, the options I was going to show you and how to use a creamy stick, a pearlescent stick highlighter. It's just a I won't go over there again. But um, yeah, can you see how it's it's added the, the the level of glow to just just the right amount of glow, then not too much. Um, if it adds too much, then it's going to start to look really, really unnatural. And I am all about looking as natural as possible. This side, not so much. Although now it's oxidized slightly, I don't think that looks too bad either. It's given me that, um, that eight-hour sleep look, hasn't it? So if you look tired, so on and so forth, and you need to attend a meeting or something, this is a, a bloody good option for you guys out there. Going on a date, similarly, that word did defeat me at the beginning of this channel. Not anymore. Similarly, how many times can I sit here and just say similarly? Hundred or similarly, what? similarly, really, similarly, really, <laughs> similarly. <laughs> Typical. Similarly, <laughs> similarly, similarly, similarly. Anyway, and so should we move swiftly on to the second use of a, a novel or new use for a, uh, a highlighting stick, pearlescent highlighting stick? For this one, you won't need, you can just use your fingers for this. This is just a contour, a uh, highlighting and contour, although I'm not going to contour today. That may come later. Haven't developed where I'm going to put the contour yet, although this is a really, really novel idea for, um, for highlighter placement on the face. So again, take the lid off. And something I've noticed, because I obviously observe people a lot, I do, I'm an artist, and as well as being a YouTuber, um, is where light hits the face. And it tends to hit the face in this area here more than anywhere else. Loads of people put highlighter on the tops of their cheekbones, and the light does hit there. It does. Um, it does, guys. It just does. So <laughs> shall I stop that?
Of course, the traditional placement for a highlighting stick or any form of highlighter is on the top of the cheekbones. And, and that, it works to a degree, although I have noticed this, this just a C area here is where the light hits the most. Um, you watch any sort of television program or anyone who's got really, really, really lovely skin, by all means, you could bring it down, although I think that it's really important just to get that C in there. So all I'll do is I'll just go in with my highlighting stick and I'll start to form a C. I'm putting loads on here just so it's really visible for you beautiful ones out there. And this will lift the face as well and give you that Trump, that Trump doy um, optical illusion of lifted skin. Just put that over there, put the lid on him or, well, you know what happened, don't you guys? And then you can either go in with a, a beauty sponge or just use fingers. And can you see that part of the, um, the cheekbone has been incorporated into where I've placed the highlighter? All I'm doing is blending that out. Don't blend too much though, guys. And can you see that? My skin is pretty shiny at the minute because I've just had a hot bath, but um, excuses. No, I'm not, I'm kidding. Um, and if you've done what I've done and put way too much on, then just go in with a sponge and, um, you know, uh, water it down or just dilute it slightly. But this will just give you, um, I'm going to turn my head that way. I hope, I just fingers crossed, this is going to just demonstrate perfectly how wonderful this new placement of conceal of highlighter can do to try and get it right. I'm trouble with myself, guys. It happens a lot, though, it does. <laughs> and this will give your face sculpt sculpture, it'll give your face a sculpted look far more than just, you, you know, and then if you go in with a dark line of contour underneath and put the highlighter on your cheekbones, I believe that by putting a, a, a V on your, um, a C, C shape just there. Um, and, and it, it will lift your entire features and, and not a lot of product. You don't need loads of product all over your face in, in that respect or if you follow this technique. So, yeah, I was going to do that, wasn't I? Turn my head. And using this technique with, again, with a stick highlighter, sorry, but it's going to give you a very, very, very natural lifted look, um, especially if it's itchy neck, especially if it's a pearlescent one. Uh, again, if you're going with a sparkly one, it's going to light your whole face up and you look like um, Blackpool Illuminations, which is not a good look on anyone's face, is it really? Although I was just going to say, if you want to just go in with a few dots of concealer, just to add some opacity to it, then you can, by all means. I wouldn't do this in a million years. I don't really wear face makeup anyway, but, um, you know, and then just dab that in. This is way, way, way too pale for my choppies, but we're highlighting here, aren't we, guys? We are. And again, because I've laid down the highlighter first and it's pretty creamy, it's going to um, lift. It's going to glide on, basically, lift on that about. It's going to lift, the, uh, glide onto my... It's going to glide on to your face. So there, what do you think? And can you see how it's defining my face? It really, really is. And obviously this side is the good side because I only put concealer on the inner corner and on the outer corner of my eye. This one, I went all the way under. And then I went in with the um, the cream highlighter and, and added a, a, a C-shaped Crescent, almost like well, it's just basically a C shape to that. Just the um, the orbital bone or ocular bone of your. Shall I stop that now? Okay, stop it. I think that looks incredible, beautiful ones. The concealer's dampened down now, and it's obviously blended with the highlighter as it has done under my eyes too. In effect, creating a new product, a, a quite a glowing sort of um, concealer. Not too glowing though. Um, but yeah, 
So that's uh, two ways to use a cream highlighter, which you probably never thought of you doing that before. If you did, then please do let me know in the comments or if you do this technique anyway, because I know I won't be the first person on YouTube to have or in the beauty world to have blended the two together. Although I do think that this is pretty novel. It is. It is. It just is. So <laughs> just stop that. Naughty. And of course, beautiful ones, me being me and my channel being my channel, I have a, this is the contour stick. I even have a new use for contour or a new place to put contour and it's not there, believe it or not. So if you enjoyed today's video, please do give this video a thumbs up. To start that again, I'll have to do my own book. But that will be in a separate video, beautiful ones, um, as will a, <laughs> a bit of a novelty for the House of Joseph. We're going to be looking at clothing not brand new clothing, though, secondhand clothing. And I think I'm going to call it something like would forward slash could you wear secondhand? Because believe it or not, but this Heli Hansen. Oh, I'm so not muscly at all, am I? <laughs> Such a flabby old body. But this Heli Hansen um, polo shirt cost something like four. It did. It cost four pounds from a charity shop. I bought it yesterday morning, got it home, washed it. It's It's as good as new now. So, and I do wear every single thing I own, apart from my underwear and socks and so on, is secondhand. It just is. And it has been for about 10 years now. So it, ahead of that tutorial, um, which will be coming sometime next week, and I'll even take you out into Hereford and show you around the charity shops. We may even go shopping together, beautiful ones. How does that sound? Fun. It's always fun, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> if not, then, um, well, I'll just stay home and have a drink, a tea or cups up. You know, a piece of Tiffany's always nice. Shall I stop? Okay. Upcoming videos, beautiful ones. So the the, uh, the the thrift shop or the charity shop um, would or forward slash could you wear secondhand video will be coming very, very soon, as will um, the, the contour one. I've got, even got some DIY skincare formulations coming up. Um, we're going to revisit the facelift in a bottle, which I've now souped up and I'm using that exclusively on my old face. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Similarly, do consider subscribing. It's there, I believe, or there, or even there. I'm kidding, it's there. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all very, very soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you all. Take care. Bye. Tell me why you